welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below so that way you are subscribed to my channel and can get notified of any upcoming videos. So also, I have recently gone cruelty free, so moving forward, my videos will be cruelty free. If you wanna check out that video, I will link it down below. I also had a big announcement video on my other channel called Beauty Attic Next Door. Beauty Attic Next Door is more of like your typical beauty channel with hauls, makeup tutorials, um, unboxings and other videos like that so if you want to check out that channel as well it will be linked down below now as for this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit my videos I'm not gonna go super detailed into a video but I'm gonna show you the basics of what I do just so you guys can get an idea of how to edit your video I'm not gonna walk you through every little tiny detail because that would take way too long so I'm just gonna break it down for you um, uh, the key thing is that I use two programs when I edit I use iMovie and I use a Final Cut Pro um, iMovie I really like to start out in because it's easier for me to move around so I just kind of do the basic editing um, and then I also do voiceovers there and then I do all of my fancy stuff in Final Cut Pro so I'll go more into that into the video um, sorry if you see Michael's tail he decided to join me in this video um, but uh, yeah here he is <gasps> Hi. but yeah if you guys want to see the basic editing process that I do then please just keep on watching all right, let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is go into iPhoto. Um, so I'm going to open up that Photos app at the bottom of my screen, and then I'm going to import all of my videos. So I'm going to hook up my Canon T5i to my computer, turn it on, and then this will pop up right here. Um, and then all of those videos that you see at the beginning, those are the videos that I'm going to be importing where I'm wearing that pinkish orange top. Um, and as I was pointing out there, I have the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. So now what we're going to do is I want to grab a couple clips. I'm only going to do four at a time just because I don't want to put my too much stress on my computer. So I just do four at a time. Now once all four of those have uploaded, then I'll just go in and upload another batch. I think I did two more batches after this. So now I'm just going to go through the videos that I imported and just check the first couple of videos just because usually those are test videos so I don't want that to take up space on my computer. So I just go through and check each one just to make sure and then delete them. So now we're going to exit out of the Photos app and then go into iMovie. So I'm just going to open that up, let it load, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. So I hit Projects, that plus button, hit Movie. Once that pops up, just click No Theme. Then erase my movie and add in the title. I just do something short like Jan Faves and then I put iMovie. Now what we're going to do is go into the photo library. So I just hit the photo library button on the left. And then what we're going to do is go into the correct moments. So I filmed on a Sunday. Um, and so we're just going to scroll down here until I find the videos that I filmed. So th this is the first video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it in right here and drop it. I'm going to open this up with that button on the right and then go all, scroll all the way to the left and then I want to make sure that the movie is highlighted and go up to these bars right here. This is how we're going to fix the noise. So we're going to reduce a background noise. This is so important guys. Like there's, there's been YouTube videos that I've seen and then I'm listening and I just hear this buzzing in the background. Now sometimes it's um, really harsh and sometimes it's subtle, but either way it is distracting, so make sure you hit that button. So after scrolling around, I hit Command B and that split the clip. So what I did was I cut out the beginning part where I'm fixing my hair and just got to the part where I was saying, hey beauty addicts. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that that little bit um, is perfect at the beginning, that there's no pause, there's no me staring at the camera for even a second and then I start talking. So I kind of rely on also the, the movement of my mouth. You kind of learn how to read the lips a little bit when you start doing editing like this. So that's help, what helps me adjust to uh, figuring out where to cut the clip. So then I just go through the rest of the clip and then just continue to cut whenever I stop talking and drag the clip a little bit over until I start talking again. So all that you have to do is click Command V and that will split the clip. Then you just drag the clip back and forth with the arrow just so it can stop right before you start speaking 
um, and then end when you stop speaking. So once you've done that, you would just go right before the split play and just make sure that it sounds okay, that you weren't cut off as you were trying to fix it. Um, it's very important because you don't want to go back later um, after it's too late, it's already exported and you realize that you will cut yourself off in the video. After I've gone through the entire video and cut it down, I just go back in between where all of the splits are, listen to it, make sure I don't cut myself off, make, make sure that there are no pauses. If I have to adjust, I adjust. Um, so, especially the second time around, I'm not as much of a perfectionist as I'm splitting um, at first. I am more perfectionist later. Um, so once I'm done with that, I go to export, so I hit that export button, file, make sure the name's okay, hit next, and then I'm going to save it onto my desktop. So now it's just exporting. Then we're just going to exit out of iMovie and go into Final Cut Pro right after it, had, it has exported. Because what we're going to do is we are going to drag that video into Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is where I do all of the, my fancy editing. So before I get started, I want to clear out anything that I don't need, anything I just want to move to the trash. So I just do that to get it out of the way and also to minimize how much storage I take up because I'm always getting told that I used up too much storage. I don't know about you. All right, now we're going to do File, New, Project. And what we're going to do is we are going to add in the video title. So I'm putting January 2016 Monthly Favorites. And then what I'm going to do is also list some of the brands that I'm going to be mentioning, particularly my um, favorite ones, the most popular ones at the beginning, just so people can have an idea of what's going to be included in your video. Um, so that's what I do there, and then I add etc. at the end. Um, and then all you have to do after that is click OK, and then you're good to go. You have a new video to work on. So now I'm going to drag Final Cut Pro a little bit to the left, so that way I can find my clip from iMovie or my video from iMovie and then just drag it into Final Cut Pro. Now before I get started, I want to make sure that I um, move the extra clip to the trash so that way I don't have too much storage being taken or too much space being taken by it. Um, then I'm going to go to my previous video, which I always keep because I have a template in here. So here is a template that I use at the end of every one of my videos. And then there's also a little thank you for watching at the end. It's that purple file to the left right of it. Um, now here's just a big blown up version of that template. I have I keep I hold on to the template, but it's much easier just to copy it um, from the previous video along with the thanks for watching. So all I have to do is um, do command C so I can copy it. And then I go over to my January favorites video and then just paste it to the right of my video clip just because that's where I put the template and thanks for watching clip because it's always at the very end. So then I go back to my previous video and I just delete pretty much all of it except for the very beginning. Because what I want to do is I'm going to export a shortened version of it. So like 11 seconds long, nothing too long. And then do master file. And then we're going to change the name and we're going to shorten it and put ST at the end. Click next. Save it onto your desktop and it'll export fairly quickly. Um, I like to do the beginning just because that's where I have all my shortened clips. It's kind of a summary. So that's what I like to include. So we're just going to close out of that and then we're going to go back into our January favorites video. Now the reason why I did this is because I always like to insert a clip of my previous video into my current video at the very end just so that people can see what my previous video was. Um, so here's me struggling to find where that file was when really it was right up there at the top right. Um, so I find it and then I drag it into the video um, that we're working on. And then I just kind of scroll, and right after those um, letters disappear, I only want to have like two seconds of me talking, and then I just adjust the template to fit that video clip. So now we're going to drag it on top, and then we're going to adjust the video so we can see the template. So we hit that button right there, and this is how we pull it back and forth. That's how we transform it. And then we're just going to move it over until it fits right in that little area that I left empty, empty to put it. So then I press play and then I just make sure that everything is playing okay. 
um, that it's in the right spot. Sometimes I forget to transform it and all I see is the video, so I have to make sure that the template is showing. So then I just drag this right back and then pull down the volume because you don't want the volume of the previous video on there. Um, later we're going to be inserting music. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going and finding little clips to put at the beginning of my video. I do that a lot. I just take clips from the actual video, put it at the beginning, add some music, and that's kind of like a little summary of what's to come in the video. So I'm just taking one clip right here. This is going to be the clip that I have the title on top of, but we'll get to that in a second. So all I did was I split on um, twice, so Command B, and then I copied it. So Command C, and then I put it at the, pasted it at the very beginning of the video. Then I went and found another clip because I wanted to have at least one other clip at the beginning of the video. Um, so I'm just scrolling around finding that. We're going to do the Command B, Command B again, and then Command C to copy it, and then Command, I believe, V um, to paste it at the beginning. Here we are going to the beginning. We're just going to paste it there. We're going to take down the volume. Make sure you um, don't have the volume on for those first two clips because we are going to be putting music there at the beginning. So then I just shorten it. I don't really want a long opening, especially if there's only going to be two clips there. So 10 is about the max that I would want to do, maybe a little bit less. So I just adjust the length there. Sometimes it also depends on what music I include because sometimes I have the clips go to the beat of the music. Um, I like to have, end off on a certain beat, a note of a song, so just kind of keep that in mind too. But luckily for me, it was really easy. This one just um, worked out perfectly. Now I'm going to find the title, so I just click that T on the right and then um, typed in Drift to find the title that I frequently use and dragged it on top of the second clip at the beginning. So I put in the title, January 2016, and then the bottom one is Monthly Favorites. The bottom line I always make a little bit smaller, so as you can see, I'm making it a little bit smaller on the right side of the screen. Um, so we're good there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the title for the first clip. Um, usually I used to use drama, but then I decided that I wanted to do Pixie, so forget that I was trying to do dramatic. Um, I ended up going back and searching for Pixie and adding that on to top of the first clip. So we're just going to drag it there and adjust it so that way it's not over top of the other clip otherwise they're going to overlap in the video and then just have them touch. So then I click on the pixie dust and then I type in the title on the top right um, and then I'm going to put beauty addict next door since that's my channel name. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to face which is just the color um, that we're going to put. We're going to do strawberry as the color since it matches my raspberry pink background that I usually have. And then we're also going to change the color on this one right here. So we're going to go to that face button again. We're going to open it up. We're going to click that show button. Click on that box and then hit strawberry again and then exit. So now those um, titles match. So here's just a clip of it running and then what it looks like more blown up. All right, then we're just going to exit out of that and then exit out of titles by clicking the X button. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go get some music. So you're going to search on YouTube, Sing King Karaoke. I use them pretty much for every single video that I do because it's just karaoke music. We're allowed to use it in videos. You just have to make sure that you give a credit to Sing King Karaoke in your description box. So I'm just listening to the song, seeing if I like it. I did end up liking it, so thank God that worked out the first time around. So now I'm going to go on a different tab and type in YouTube Converter. So once that pops up, I see YouTube to MP3 Converter. Click that. You're going to delete the link there, and you're going to paste the other link that you copied for the song that you want to download. Click Download, and then it will download fairly quickly. Um, and it always pops up in my iTunes. So I have to go back to the video, pause it and then I open up iTunes and then pause it because it automatically plays. So then we're just going to minimize iTunes and then minimize Safari. Um, and then pull up Final Cut Pro again. Go to the beginning of a clip, pull out, pull the clips out further. We use that scroll bar at the bottom right. 
and then we're going to go to that music button and then go under iTunes and then pull that song that we just downloaded. So there are different tabs. I can go in more detail about the music tabs later um, in a different video. But right now I'm just adjusting the clip. I'm taking out the part that's more silent. I'm adjusting the volume at the top right. I usually go between about negative 6 to negative 12. And then I'm just going to listen in, make sure that it sounds okay, and then just stop the clip um, or just cut the music off right here a little bit into me talking. But then what we're going to do is we're going to um, lower the volume gradually. So we're just going to pull that right here. Once again, I can do a separate video going more into how to do that. Um, so that is how I do the beginning of the video. Then I just add this um, transition between. It's just a simple... Um, blur transition that I added in between those two clips. I don't add one right here between me saying hey beauty addicts and then the last part here um, just because it ends up cutting off the hey in my hey beauty addicts. Um, I haven't found a good transition to use that doesn't cut me off so I kind of just skipped on putting trans just, just transitions there. And then I just kind of adjust the music a little bit. I heard it and I wanted to adjust it a bit. Then I copied that clip and, and we're going to paste it right here underneath where that template is. Then adjust it to fit around that template, that thank you um, for watching clip. Um, and then what we're also going to do is do a gradual volume um, increase between the end of the video and that template. So we're just going to pull that right here, um, adjust it a little bit, and then we're going to play it, play it just to test it out and make sure that it sounds okay and goes well with the clips and that they're not too long. The next thing that I want to show you is how to insert a clip from a previous video of yours on top of this. That way you can do a little um, reference to one of your videos. So I'm just going on the January Favorites video and listening and then right before I start talking about the clip that I'm going to insert I pause the video, then I go and grab that clip. Um, so I'm going to be going on to my G Drive in just a second and pulling that clip that I want to pull. I have to go to my YouTube folder, go under Beauty Vlogger 101, um, go under STs because those are the shortened versions of the videos. And then I'm just going to drag that video on top of the long video clip. So we're just going to stack it. So when you stack it, whatever is above that is what's going to show. So now that it's above it, whenever I'm talking, you can still hear me talking in the video, but it's going to be displaying this clip. Now, if you don't adjust the volume, which I'm going to do, I just lower it all the way to the bottom, you will hear both me talking and the, that clip that you're adding on top, so you want to make sure that you turn the volume down. So then I'm just adjusting um, the clip, just to make sure it's not too long. It lines up for when I start talking about it. Now after I've stacked on any pictures or any videos on top of that, my main video, what I do is I go back through and listen to each and every one, look at it, make sure it all lines up perfectly because that is where you're going to have your mistakes whenever you are editing. You don't want to have the wrong clip in the wrong spot, um, so it's really important to go back and check that again. So that is what I just did right here. So now we're just going to pause that. And go back to the beginning of the video, and then you're going to watch the video all the way through. Um, try not to multitask. I do that sometimes, but really try to watch the entire video. Make sure everything sounds okay. Make sure the clips look okay. They pop up at the right times. Um, if there's there may be something else that you would like to add, so just pay attention to that. So then we're going to export. So just going to hit that arrow button, master file. Then you're going to click next. You're going to save it on top of your desktop and hit save. So now it's just going to export the video. Now that it's exported, we're just going to exit out. Then after this, all you would need to do is compress your video. So for me, I would be going into Handbrake. If you guys want to see a tutorial on that, all you have to do is check out my previous video. I show you how to download Handbrake and then how to um, use it. So that way you can compress your videos, which will help you upload your videos a lot quicker onto YouTube. So once I have compressed my video, all I need to do now is go to YouTube and then go to my channel and then click that upload button. 
and then upload the video right here. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you found it helpful. If you guys have any tips on how you edit your videos or what your basic process is, let me know down in the comments so I know. Um, also, if you guys have any tips on doing voiceovers in Final Cut Pro, let me know. Um, I feel like that's kind of the big reason why I use iMovie first and then Final Cut Pro just because I feel like the voiceovers they sound a lot better whenever I edit them in there as opposed to in Final Cut Pro. So if you have any tips or any videos that you want to refer me to that would help me out that would be great. Um, also make sure that you hit subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel already. Like this video if you've liked it and I will see you all next time. And Michael will see you all next time too maybe. No? Maybe I'll close the door next time? I don't know. We'll see. See you guys.